about them wolves just devouring them chicken nuggets 45 point blowout game 6 I would have never never in a million years guessed that the Timberwolves would have obliterated the nuggets in such devastating fashion game 6 I thought the Timberwolves would win, maybe even by 15 or maybe even 20, but 45 points, Denver only nine points in the fourth quarter, one 10 to 75 shellacking. The biggest playoff victory in Timberwolves history. Nikola Jokic, who looked like an MVP in two consecutive games, games four and game five, did not look like that in game six. And a lot of it had to do with the fact that Timberwolves went back to certain basics. And that is the mighty Timberwolves, who we sometimes forget what a number one rated defensive team in the NBA during the regular season. Put Towns back on Jokic. Have Gobert be a help defender. And at the same time, making it more difficult for Jokic to pass getting in the passing lanes, steals, uh, you know, ma making it a lot less, uh, a lot less easy for Jokic to be both a scorer and a facilitator. Harassing Jokic. That's pretty much how you can beat the Denver Nuggets. Slowing him down, all, slowing him down offensively as well as uh, making it less easy for him to get comfortable pressuring him and make him make mistakes. And that's pretty much it. If you cancel Jokic out, the only way they could possibly win is if Jamal Murray just nuts up and have a super duper performance, like a 40, 50 point performance, or, you know, well, pretty much him, because Jamal Murray is really the only guy other than Jokic that can get his consistently. I mean, yeah, you got Aaron Gordon, but for the most part, it comes down to Jokic and then Murray. And by the way, as predicted, a lot of Jokic fans are acting just like LeBron fans. Instead of having your guy take responsibility for when they lose, you point fingers. I don't know what's up with you dudes, why you always do that. Look, I will admit, as a Michael Jordan fan, sometimes I did point the finger at Scottie Pippen. But when Michael Jordan played like crap, I blame Michael Jordan. If he shot nine for 27, no steals, looked fatigued, missed threes, wasn't effective. I blame Scottie Pippen. No, I was joking. Now I blame Michael Jordan. It was his fault. I know we tend to do that. We can't do that, man. That wasn't Jamal Murray's fault. He's part of the problem, but he's not the whole problem. Yeah, he's having he hasn't had a good series. But then again. Jokic hasn't had a strong playoff run like he did last year. He's been up and down. Jamal Murray's been more down than up, but it ain't just him. So we can't do that. Nah. Give the Timberwolves credit. 
it's not it's not just a factor of that's that's the thing that's killing me with with Nuggets fans. They keep trying to blame this guy, that guy, that guy. When in reality, what's going on is the Timberwolves are that damn good. This is the first time they lost three games in a row all year. There's a reason behind that. So shout out to Timberwolves. I don't even want to really go into scores, but I know... Uh, as a matter of fact, let me just put it out there. I think Anthony Edwards had 27 points. I think Gobert had 27 points. Here we go. All right. So Anthony Edwards, did I say go go bear? I meant tw- Anthony Edwards had twenty seven points. Um, Conte Towns had. I thought Conte Towns had more points than that. Is that right? Conte Towns had ten points, thirteen rebounds, and five assists. Jaden McDaniels had twenty one points to go along with four rebounds. Nas Reed had ten points, eleven rebounds. Rudy Gobert had eight points. Along 14 rebounds. Jokic, as I said, was held to 22 points, 9 rebounds, and 2 assists. Michael Porter Jr. continues to have a poor series. I think all but one game in this series, he's been in single digits. 8 points and 6 rebounds. Aaron Gordon did not have that monster performance that he's been having in, in some other games. These playoff runs, 12 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists. Jamal Murray, just 10 points. Just one of ten in the first half as far as shooting. I think he was four of eighteen for the game, so he continues to struggle. And Denver scores a playoff low seventy. This is also the same Timberwolves team that kept Denver to eighty points in Game Two. So this goes to a Game Seven, and it's at Denver. But who knows? You know, Minnesota's, you know, they are definitely capable of beating Denver at Denver. They, they have d- demonstrated that with the first two games in this series. Then again, you know, Denver won game five at home. So we, you don't know. Uh, so it is what it is. But they're back from the brink. And now we're in the game seven. Tell me what you guys think.